Aphotic is a seafood fine dining restaurant in the heart of downtown San Francisco that strived to become a certified distillery in addition to being a restaurant to build its cocktail program. Here to chat more is the veteran bar director, Trevin Hutchins. Trevin, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for here having today. me. Yeah, yes. super excited. We are super excited to make some cocktails today, some signature Aphotic cocktails. Yeah. But um, what I would really love to know before we get into the cocktails, tell me a little bit more about Aphotic and what you guys offer. Yeah, we're a uh, best practice seafood restaurant and um, also you know the first uh, Michelin starred restaurant to also have a craft distillery in the US mm -hmm. uh, so really unique programming uh, that allows us to do a lot you know we uh, direct source all of our seafood which is a huge you know kind of point of pride for us as a restaurant mm -hmm. uh, and then we you know for the cocktail program we source a lot of like forage botanicals native to California mm -hmm. uh, create different spirits around them and then you know beautiful cocktails as a result. Yeah, that's incredible. And for you, why was it so important to create that initiative to have the signature cocktails at Aphotic? Well, I mean, it's sort of a mark of, you know, who you are at your bars, you know, especially like a classic cocktail like the one I'm going to make today. Yeah. Uh, so we're making the Aphotic Martini. Uh, so very classic cocktail that, yeah. you know, everyone's a, like knows, but, you know, we're trying to make it our own. Yeah, a little bit of a twist to it. Mm -hmm. I like that. You have to have some uniqueness yeah, to you. Yeah, totally. So walk us through what we're going to be making today. Yeah. And let's get into it. Cool. Uh, so this is a blend of Noli Pratt original uh, dry vermouth uh, with single estate manzanilla sherry. So yeah. uh, two coastally produced fortified wines that we're uh, adding to this. Uh, and then our Aphotic Signature Gin goes into it. Awesome. Uh, what's really unique about this gin is we work with Monterey-based seaweeds. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're a sustainable aquaculture farm uh, growing all kinds of different edible seaweeds. Uh, so the variety, variety that we're using is Dulce, okay. uh, which is a red variety of seaweed. It's also a huge part of the abalone diet. So if you ever see like a pink kind of stripe and abalone shell, yeah. that's actually coming from them eating that. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. Uh, Give so, me a little lesson here. I like yeah. that. Um, so what's so, the first step then? Trevin? So yeah, uh, so everything's in the glass here, and we're we're just gonna stir. I mean, um, and this is already in here, right? We already have in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I, I made two. I'm gonna, you know, have you help a little bit if that's yes, all right? Yes, please. I'd love to help. Cool. Hands on. We got to be hands on here. Yeah, for sure. So we're gonna make two of these, everybody, and remind us one more time the name of this classic cocktail that we're yes, creating. Yes, so we're making a martini. Just um, a classic martini. Yeah, I love it. yeah, gin martini, um, but they're all distilled from you know house distilled spirits. So yeah. it's five different botanicals that we're using for this. Uh, so we're using uh, juniper, of course. In order to be gin, it has to have juniper in it. Uh -huh. uh, we're using um, a dull seaweed, as I mentioned, uh, green tea, orris root, and then bitter orange. And why is house distilled a little bit? Better? better or maybe more unique than something you can get anywhere else? Well, I mean, we sort of look at distillation as sort of a preservation method. So yeah. uh, it allows us to work with different ingredients that may have one, like a short growing season. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, we can uh, sort of extend the life of those ingredients uh, by distilling them. And it also just gives it something unique to work with that, awesome. you know, you can't really get anywhere else. Okay, so when do you need my help? All right, this is it. This, this is, is it. the moment. Okay, so, here we go. My uh, moment, everybody. So, uh, <laughs> grab a, a peel with okay. probably your, uh, are you lefty or righty? I'm a righty. Great, so uh, peel on your left hand okay. here, and then have the uh, citrus, kind of the yellow part Perfect. this way. And so you're gonna hold it like this. Okay. Like that, so you're like kind of that. putting a little pressure. Yep, got it? Got it. And then start at the glass and then sort of try to raise your arm, and then you're expressing the Ooh. peel as you sort of pour it. Okay. And the reason we do it this way is, mm -hmm. uh, you'll see sometimes bartenders will sort of express it on the top, and then, oh, great Ooh, job. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, you'll see them sort of express it on the top, and yeah. like, when you go to sip the cocktail, you get this like massive sort of hit of the citrus oil. So when you pour it from up high, you're getting it more integrated through the cocktail. Yeah, I you can, can smell, smell it, right? it too. It smells so yeah. good. Uh, it, it integrates better into the cocktail, so it's not just that hit of lemon. So it just awesome. gives it more nuance throughout. Okay, perfect. So now once we've done that. Yeah, we can go right there. And then uh, what we serve on the side for it 
caviar stuffed olive. Okay, like, um, caviar stuffed olive. Yeah, you know, blue cheese kind of yesterday yeah. at this point, so uh, <laughs> why not caviar? We work with uh, Zara Nikolai for this. Uh, they're uh -huh. amazing, also aquaculture um, producer. Uh, this is a white sturgeon uh, caviar, which um, is native to the Sacramento Delta. Awesome. Um, and yeah. And, here, and how do you finish it off? Do you kind of just put it on top here like so yeah, this? Yeah, you can kind of just have it right there. Or All right, I'm gonna put just... mine right here then. Is that okay? Can we do that? That's, that works. That's yeah. wor that works, right? It All works, right, so for let's sure. cheers then. Cheers. Let's cheers, Trevin. Little afternoon martini. Little afternoon pick me up, right? Here we go, everybody. Ooh, yes, you can definitely taste the lemon zest. I feel mm -hmm. like that helps so much, and I can still smell it. Totally. It's crazy. Yeah. I can't believe that it affects it that much. Well, this was amazing and so much fun. So, Trevin, thank you thank so you. much yeah, for joining us to today. Here. This was such a blast. We really appreciate it.